Swan joins us now to break down the president's trip. Scott? Yeah, ladies, President Biden said today democracies of the world are standing strong today. All of this coming one year after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. But the president also made it clear that tough days are ahead in a war with no end in sight. Hello, Poland. Speaking from the Polish capital, President one Joe Biden reflecting on a year of war in Europe. One year after the bombs began to fall, Russian tanks rolled into Ukraine. Ukraine is still independent and free. Among the crowd of tens of thousands gathered at the Warsaw Royal Castle, some of the one and a half million Ukrainian war refugees currently living in Poland. No one can turn away their eyes from the atrocities Russia is committing against the Ukrainian people. It's abhorrent. It's abhorrent. President Biden praising the bravery of the Ukrainian people and the resolve of the coalition of countries supporting Ukraine's defense. When Russia invaded, it wasn't just Ukraine being tested. The whole world faced a test for the ages. President Biden taking direct aim at Russia's president. President Putin's craven lust for land and power will fail. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia. But earlier today, in a fiery speech from Moscow, Vladimir Putin vowing Russia will win the war, while blaming Ukraine's leaders and the West for his invasion. Putin also announcing Russia will pause its participation in the New START treaty with the U.S. that caps the number of nuclear weapons the two countries can deploy. Our support for Ukraine will not waver. Despite the president's promise, Americans are somewhat skeptical. According to recent polls, the public is split on whether the United States should continue supplying weapons and funding to Ukraine. Still, one year after the war starts, Ukraine's fight for democracy has not waned. President Biden also today announcing new sanctions aimed at 200 Russians and Russian entities. The list includes governors, family members of government officials, plus defense and technology companies and other firms allegedly involved in sanctions evasion.